ladies and gentlemen. This is Johnny Jones of the Globe Syndicate speaking to you from Amsterdam, Holland, where I've been an eyewitness to the assassination of the Dutch cabinet minister, Van Meer, the key figure of European politics. An hour ago, I arrived from London by plane to meet Van Meer. As I waited for him on the steps of the Peace Palace, he alighted from his car and made his way toward me. Halfway, he was stopped by a news photographer who asked for a picture. Van Meer consented and was shot dead by a revolver held close to the photographer's camera. Bystanders rushed to Van Meer's aid, and I pursued the assassin through the crowd, only to lose him in traffic. Follow that car! Quick! Say, you better get out of here. This might be dangerous. You're the silly driver. Trouble, who's he shot? Van Meer assassinated, did? Looks like it. Boy. Oh! I'm afraid you'll have to keep the girl there much longer than we planned. But that's absolutely impossible. I think you better keep the girl there for the rest of the night. Well, I can't very well explain, but I simply couldn't pull a thing like that. If you knew how much I loved you, you'd faint. There. Now, what did I tell you? Joel McRae. Lorraine Day, Herbert Marshall, George Sanders, Albert Vasserman, Robert Benjamin. University prepares to greet the two greatest scholars ever to enter its portals. Yes, sir. I think we're going to like it here. Mm -hmm. oh, pardon me, but haven't you come to the wrong college? Well, this is Oxford, isn't it? Yes, but uh, you're dressed for Eton. Well, that's swell. We haven't eaten since mm. breakfast. Mm. Even you look different. Stan! Oh, Stan! What? Come on! Okay, I'll... Oh. You're a witty old stick in the mud, aren't you, Fatty? You bet I am, and don't call me Fatty! Oh, don't get excited, old dear. Don't... Who's excited? I'm through! You can take your lordships, your Oxford, and your Paddingtons, and do what you like with them. Features Ben Johnson as Captain Ted Lawson, Phyllis Thaxter as Ellen, his wife, Robert Walker as Sergeant David Thatcher, Tim Murdoch as co pilot Lieutenant Dean Davenport, and Spencer Tracy portraying the character of Lieutenant Colonel James H. Doolittle. Hello, hello, York. Doolittle. York. I want you to get 24 B-25s with volunteer crews down to Eglin Field as soon as you can. The job will take them out of the country for about three months. Tell them it's a secret mission. Requiring more than two years to produce, 30 seconds over Tokyo, transcribed from the very heart and soul of Captain Ted Lawson, is the staggering revelation of the now famous Doolittle Raid. with 
bold strokes the adventurous story of the weary, despairing days that followed the landing in China. Goodbye. I have one sorrow, Lieutenant, that we did not have the medicine to ease your pain. You saved my life, Doc. I hope that someday you will come back to us. We'll be back. Maybe not us, ourselves, but a lot of guys like us. And I'd like to be with them. Because you're our kind of people. Thank you, sir. This is truth, ripped from the lives of one American Air Force pilot and his loyal and faithful wife. 30 Seconds Over Tokyo brings you face to face with their innermost emotions as they grasp short moments of happiness in their struggle to protect and preserve their love from the ugly menace slowly engulfing them. Be a good girl. We'll take good care of that baby. I will, Ted. Yourself, too. Oh, Ted, I, I'm going to write your letter every day you're gone. I know they won't deliver them. I won't even mail them, but I'm, I'm going to write just the same. That way we'll kind of be in touch. Tell me, honey, how come you're so cute? I had to be. I was going to get such a good-looking fella. Alexander's ragtime band set the screen's highest standard in musical motion pictures, a standard which has stood unsurpassed through the intervening years. Now, at last, 20th Century Fox Studios, which gave you that great American cavalcade of immortal melodies, proudly announces Coney Island, which is destined to become an even greater entertainment triumph. It has everything. A warm, heart-stirring story, gay romance, hit songs, hilarious comedy, dazzling dances and colorful spectacles, all photographed in rich, vivid technicolor. Coney Island, brought to you with a brilliant cast, lifted right out of Hollywood's star-studded skies. Gorgeous, glamorous Betty Grable in the supreme success of her sensational career. Popular George Montgomery, achieving new film fame. Romantic Cesar Romero, Charles Winninger, Phil Silver, and a mighty array of talented entertainers. So come along and swing along. Nobody spoke, so he shouted all the louder. literary achievements of all time. This masterpiece from the pen of Vincente Blasco Ibanez has been published in 15 languages and over 10 million copies have been sold. Countless numbers all over the world have thrilled to its stirring emotional pages. Now, in all the magnificence of glorious technicolor, this dramatic document becomes a mighty motion picture. Tyrone Power plays the greatest role of his career as Juan Gallardo, Spain's greatest matador, adored by women, envied by men, and idolized by a nation in blood and sand, with Linda Darnell as Carmen, one of many lovely women who fought for the love of this great matador, Rita Hayworth as Doña Sol, 
alluring adventuress. Woman of the world with an irresistible fascination. Nazimova as Senora Augustias. Anthony Quinn as Manola de Palma. Jake Paul Nash as Garabato. Lynn Berry as Encarnacion. John Carradine as El Nacional. And Laird Krieger as Natalio Kuro. If this is death in the afternoon, she is death in the evening. Juan, when you were little, you wouldn't listen to me. Will you listen to me now? What do you want? I want you to quit the bull ring. Quit? When I'm at the top? Oh, I've been through all this before. I know what to expect. When you are at the top, you begin to slip. There is only one way you can possibly go, and that's down. It's not like that, what it says. Oh, it doesn't matter. But it matters to me. Oh, my Neil, why don't you throw it away and forget all about it? No, no. I'm going to save this. And someday I'll make that Kuro eat his words. Someday I'll come back to you with a whole trunk full of clippings. And when you marry me, you marry the first torero in Spain. The screen captures the stunning spectacle of men who face death in the arena. And the women they love who face a thousand deaths. A brilliant cast rises to great heights to bring you the powerful dramatic impact. The glittering pageantry and the fiery romance of an immortal novel that becomes a never-to-be-forgotten motion picture triumph. Here they come, the bigwigs of bedlam, the nabobs of nonsense, the headmen of horseplay, the titans of turmoil, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy, all set to take you on a roller coaster of mad mirth in their latest, greatest, and funniest 20th century Fox comedy, The Dancing Masters. Stan and Oliver have made funny comedies in the past, but take our tip on this one, the boys really hit the jackpot for glorious fun and grand all-around entertainment. Don't you feel well? My foot's gone to sleep. Is there anything I can do to make you comfortable? What are you whispering about? want to wake your foot up. Oh. What's the combination to this thing? Two turns to the left. One, two. What do you mean, two turns to the Hold left? Hold this a minute. One, two. Two turns to the left. 